Hi everyone and welcome. Um, it's Ada Barla and Abigail Oren here and we are the creators of Dev and Think for Historians. And Dev and Think for Historians is an online class that walks you through the key Dev and Think features as well as shares tips, tricks, and scripts to help you save time while using Dev and Think software for historical research. Today we're going to discuss a situation that Abigail has faced in her research and that's why she's sharing her screen. Yeah, so um, welcome. Uh, I use JSTOR, ProQuest, and many other uh, library databases on really a daily, maybe weekly, but usually daily basis. I'm into yeah. these uh, databases, um, pulling materials for my research. And um, one of the frustrations I've had is um, how to get these sources, these journal articles, book chapters into my database. Now, with a lot of other web material, you can use Devon Things amazing sorter, which it lives in the, um, the menu uh, navigation bar at the top of your screen. Um, and usually you just hit capture content from Safari, it'll pull the name, um, you'll, you're able to add tags, um, and uh, select where you want to send it in your, oops, in your database. Um, but when you do this with, uh, for example, uh, JSTOR, um, this is a book chapter, I'll go to my, close that, uh, go to my inbox and you'll see that I've gotten just kind of gibberish, like it hasn't, <laughs> has not at all captured the article. So I'm going to delete this and try again. Um, I would uh, go back and I'd hit download PDF. And now I could try again and go and try and use the sorter, put in the name, put in any tags, refer it somewhere, hit add. I go to you know back to my Dev and Think inbox though, you'll see it's basically taken me to my university library's uh, authorization login page. So that's also not going to work. So here is uh, a solution, or actually two solutions for how to get JSTOR articles into your database. Um, if you're in Safari, though, I sure it works the same in other browsers, you go and kind of hover at the bottom of the PDF and it'll give you uh, the option to open in preview or download the file to your computer. So if you open it in preview, then all you have to do is go to share, add to Dev and Think 3, and that will send it over. It will show up in your global inbox. And unfortunately, you can't tag, you can't send it somewhere, uh, you can't rename it before it's sent. You'd have to rename it here. So not a huge deal, but not as nice as using the sorter. The other option is to download it to your downloads folder. And then from here, I can drag it in and here it is, and same thing. I'd have to rename it and add my tags here. Um, and then at that point, you can remove it from your downloads folder. So these are just two workarounds uh, for how to um, get those desperately needed <laughs> sources that we rely on into our Dev and Think database. It's um, frustrating that because of um, the proprietary um, nature of, of this, these databases um, that they won't let you ha use this more direct sorter method. Um, but there are still some pretty simple ways to get your materials into your database. Awesome, awesome. So let's see if I fully grasped the information that you shared and then correct me along the way. So you can use the Devon Think Sorter, which is at the top of your screen, if you're pulling in web sources that are not password protected. So things that are publicly available, you don't need password protection. 
when it comes to uh, research databases like JSTOR, and there's a lot of other academic research databases, these are behind uh, password protection, um, either for you as a user or perhaps your um, participation in a larger institution. And because of that password protection, you cannot use the sorter um, to pull in the, the, cita the citations directly. So instead, and I think I might have missed, and maybe other people might have missed, you click, uh, you click the download button, and when you click the download button, that's what gives you the two options that you shared with us, right? You can either Correct. download it all the way to your hard drive or open it up in the preview, and then you can get it into different things. Do I get it right? Yes. So basically awesome. what you need to do is, um, and this will look different uh, on different platforms, mm -hmm. but you need to get to um, the, P like the PDF version of the text. Okay. Um, in the JSTOR, it might be that from that original page, no. Sometimes it might be that they show you the preview and you'll, you can sort of do the same open uh, or download from yeah. the, um, the web page preview, but in JSTOR, you have to click download PDF in order to open that file. To open the file. So our aim is to find uh, the, the, the document on its own, not with any other tabs or windows or information around it, and then to get it to the preview or to get it onto our machines and then move it over to, to Dev and Think. Exactly. Amazing, amazing. Well, I think that this is a super helpful um, tip. I think, you know, helping people remember that the sorter is there and as long as the information is not password protected, you can use that. And I, I know that that's a super awesome tool. And then also sharing your experiences with how you can get these uh, password protected sources into your database is really powerful. So thanks so much. Well, thank you. Um, I uh, invite uh, anyone who is not already subscribed to our channel to do so. Hit the thumbs up button uh, if this was helpful to you. Uh, and we, uh, we hope to see you uh, in another video soon. Yes, of course. And if you have any um, questions about how to use Devon Think for historical research, feel free to subscribe to our newsletter and or and purchase our course, um, Devon Think for Historians, where we share all sorts of cool tips and tricks to help you save time and do your historical research faster. That link is below. Yes. Oh, good call. Yes, the link will be below. So thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.